This video is on how to find the confidence interval um, when we do know, when yes, we do know the standard, uh, the, the population standard deviation. This is section 7.2 of the workbook. Um, so let's go through the problem. It says a researcher wishes to estimate the number of days to sell the Chevy, a sample of 50 cars. So N equals 50. There are 50 cars for us to sell. The mean time for a dealer that's a car is on the lot is 54. So the average or mean is 54. Population standard deviation is 6.0. And we want to do a confidence interval of 95% in decimal form at 0 0.95. And we're gonna use our TI Inspire calculator. On the left are the steps. First, create a new calculator page. Uh, press the menu button. Number six, statistics. Number six, confidence interval. Then number one, Z interval. Set the data. If you have individual pieces of data, you would select this. If you don't have individual pieces of data, you would select this. This is if you have a list to add, and this is if you have no list to add, and then fill in the remaining boxes. If you look at this problem that we're doing right now, we do not have a list uh, of data. The data, everything has been given to us. So we're gonna break out our calculator. TI Inspire, uh, we're going to create a new calculator page. There we go. And we're gonna click on the menu button. I'm just following these steps. Number six, statistics. Number six, confidence interval. And then number one, Z interval. Since we don't have a list of data, we change this to stats. Then click OK, and we fill in the remaining boxes. Well, we already wrote down that our population standard deviation was 6.0. Our mean was 54. And N, the number of uh, items that we're trying to sell, was 50. And we're doing a 95% confidence interval. So if it didn't say 95, you would change it 0 0.95. We're changing it to the decimal form. So this is everything filled out. Once you have everything filled out, we hit OK. And we have our confidence interval. Our lower level. and our upper level. So this is how you can write it. 52, if I round it to one decimal place, three, and then the upper level would be 55 point, and one decimal place is seven. So this would be the answer. Um, you could also write the answer, once again, 52.3. With the mean, we're talking for the mean. Uh, 55.7. There's one more way of writing the answer. And here it shows the mean is 54. And then we plus or minus the margin of error, which is 1.7. So this, there are three ways of writing this. Do you see 54 plus 1.7 is 55.7. 54 minus 1.7 is 52.3. So there are three different ways of writing this answer. And we can do it all straight from our calculator. All right, I've got two more problems to do. Let me erase this. Mm. 
Ah, see, I didn't want to erase that. <laughs> Hopefully you remember. I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to try this problem first. Okay. A random sample of 44 cars. So N, the number in our sample is 44 have an average bill of 1780. Our average or our mean is $17.80. Population standard deviation is 4.93. Uh, and we want a confidence interval of 96%, which is 0 0.96. So we have all the information. We're gonna just type it into our TI Inspire calculated. Create a new calculator page, number one and one add calculator. Menu, number six, statistics, number six, confidence interval, and number one, Z interval. There's no data here, so we're going to just type it, click on stats, hit OK, and fill in the boxes. Population standard deviation was 4.93. The mean, the average was 17.80. N was 44. And our confidence level is 0 0.96 this time. When we hit OK, once again, you can write it like this. You can write it with the mean, which is 17.8 plus or minus the margin of error, which is 1.53. If I go to, well, we're only going to go one decimal place. 1.5. There we go. That is our confidence error. You can also write it once again, the lower level was 16.3 and the upper level was 19.3. Okay. All right, so we have one more to do. And this one, this one has the data. Okay, so we have to input this data. Um, I've already done that, so I'm just gonna pull out my data. I'm calling it 7.2 data, I have it saved here. So if you don't have the data saved like me, which you don't, uh, you're gonna have to hit a new page and add lists and spreadsheet and type in your data, right? Uh, you change this to L1 list one and then type in all your data here. So I, I type, I changed the column to L1 and I typed in the data. There are 25 pieces of data, okay. So we have that data. We're gonna create a new page, control page, number one, add calculator. So we have our count, we have our data page and we have our calculator page, our calculator page, there it is, it's on 1.2. Uh, we're gonna go do the same thing we've been doing. Go to menu, number six, Statistics, number six, confidence interval, number one, Z interval. And this time we have data. So we leave the data there. You see, we have 25 pieces of data. We hit OK. 
and it says, what is our uh, population standard deviation? Well, the problem lists it here at 0 0.62, 0 0.62 on my calculator. If I can get it to work. The list, if we click on this arrow, my list was in L1. You have to label that column so your calculator knows where to get that information. And I'm, I label that L1. Frequency list is going to stay at one. And we're doing a 94% confidence interval here. So we're going to change this confidence interval to 94%. So it's going to get the mean uh, from the list. It's going to get it to do all the work for us. When we hit OK, we're done. Our answer for the confidence interval and the mean is, if I do one decimal place, 2.8 plus or minus our margin of error, which is 0 0.2. If I just go one decimal place, you can also do the lowest 2.6 comma the, the upper boundary 3.1. I think we probably would be better to take it to more decimal places so we'd get a more accurate answer. Uh, but this is what the answer looks like. You see, if I subtract two, I get 2.6, but if I add two, I get three. So it's a, it's a little iffy on the, uh, because we rounded it to one decimal place. The answer doesn't look exactly the same. This really should be 3.2 if we had this, but the way we rounded it, it didn't show up uh, correctly. So if we had more than one decimal place, we would have that. All right, so I hope this video helped.